strategist. I keep telling you people, it's a mind game. The artifact does not belong to us. I keep saying it. Does not belong to a door people. It belongs to the Orbar of Benin. Precision. It has to be. Thanks for clicking on this channel. Please subscribe to Afo's blog and click on the notification button so that whenever we upload a new video you will be notified. The Benin artifacts belong to Edo people, says Governor Obasiki. He refuses to acknowledge the Oba of Benin ownership of the artifacts. Governor Obasiki stated when he received German government delegates that the artifacts belong to Edo people and he is building the Emowa Museum to house the artifacts. Governor Obasiki insists on building Emowa Museum instead of Benin Royal Museum. Took German government delegates to site in anticipation of the return of the stolen artifacts. The Edo state governor, Mr. Godwin Obasiki, on Monday, led delegates of the German government to inspect the site for the proposed Edo Museum of West African Arts, Emowa. Obasiki, while conducting the German Minister of State for Culture and the Media, BKM, Claudia Roth on a guided tour of the project site in Benin City, said the museum will attract tourists from far and near to view Benin artifacts and have an experience of the history, history and rich cultural heritage of Edo people. He said the German government has declared interest to return all looted artifacts in its custody and assured the Edo state government of its continued support towards the realization of the Emowa project. Obasiki said, we are glad that we have been able to serve as a catalyst to make this happen. A few years before I came into office, the discussion was on but we realized it was not going to go anywhere until the Edo state government stepped in and it was the intervention of the state government that facilitated the return of these works and the increased conversations about the returns. This conversation about restitution and return of these works have been going on for almost two years. It is part of our dealing to first return these artifacts to where they belong but more importantly, whether they are all returned or not, what is most important is the ownership, that these works don't belong to the people who are currently holding them, but to Edo people and as part of Nigeria, they should come back to Nigeria. It would be recalled that the Germans were the first to accept to return the looted artifacts, Obasiki commended the German government for its continued partnership with the Edo state government. He said that the Emowa project, on completion, will serve as a facility to bridge the gap in the history and knowledge of the Edo people. The governor further noted, people may not understand the implication, impacts, and importance of what we are doing now, but hopefully in years to come, Edo people and Nigerians will come to appreciate that we took the right decision. First, to put pressure on those who are currently holding our prized pieces of artifacts that these works actually belong to us and were forcibly taken away from this city and there was a lot of destruction and carnage that went with it. Obasiki hails the German government for their support and said they are partially contributing to fund the Emowa project. Why does Governor Obasiki insist on building Emowa Museum instead of Benin Royal Museum? The Oba of Benin has said times without number that he wants the Benin Royal Museum which must be built opposite Oba Palace, a plot of land is already provided. Governor Obasiki insists in building Emowa and he has gone ahead to start building the Emowa Museum. According to this report, Obasiki thanked the German government for partially contributing to fund the Emowa project. It is true what we have been hearing that Governor Obasiki has bought over Lai Muhammad, Minister of Information and Culture, and Professor Abba Isa Tajani, National Commission for Museums and Monuments in order to get the returned artifacts. From unverified source states that Obasiki collected 5 million euro from German government. If Benins are not united against this common enemy, we are likely to lose the artifacts to Obasiki. Mr. Azadawa said in one of his videos that Obasiki had collected money from Europeans and promised them that he would build a museum. To Europeans, museum is a novel idea, hence they will support it financially. But failure to do what you collected money for, then you will have problem with them. Please watch this video clip from Mr. Azadawa as he explains. The point is this, it's not, it's not a rumor. When you collect something from the Europeans, having assured them that you are going to provide so, 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 so things. When you, when you go to meet the white people and say that, well, I'm going to build museum and it's going to house 
the artifact. They are going to give you money because it's a novel idea. Then when you fail to meet up with what you promised, then you now begin to have problems with European authorities. This is a clear case. Why is he still fighting tooth and nail to get those artifacts, knowing fully where he has lost? Because or you we 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 believe that there is more than uh, how do I put it? Uh, um, uh, like I said, entire ifi when you collect something from the Europeans promising them that you're going to construct something and you fail to do that you they will ask for their reform and that is the case the reform is being asked for he has to find all ways to ensure that those artifacts get to him During Governor Obasiki's presentation of the 2023 budget of Edo State, he said he appropriated 2 billion naira for Benin Royal Museum. Please watch the clip. In the area of economic development, we have completed our master plan to promote tourism and will be prioritizing the development of our culture district, which adjoins these premises. To this end, we have made provisions for 2 billion naira to support the construction of the Benin Royal Museum in addition to the support we've given the, for the development of the Edo Museum of West African Arts and we are making an additional provision of 1 billion for the construction and development work in the Benin Cultural District. Mr. Speaker, on this note, I want to thank all Edo as we are talking, nothing is going on at the site of Benin Royal Museum, but work is going on at the site of Emola. Obasiki speaks with both sides of his mouth. When PDP presidential candidate and his entourage visited the Oba of Benin at his palace. The Benin monarch said he has not seen Obasiki at the palace for a very long time and he also put it in form of pidgin English, now your face be this. Please watch the video clip. watch the video as Governor Obasiki addressed journalists and German government delegates that the ownership of the artifacts is Edo people. He deliberately avoided mentioning Oba Palace or the Oba of Benin. Who are currently holding uh, prized pieces of artifacts, that these works actually belong to us, that these works were forci forcibly taken away from uh, this city and uh, there was a lot of destruction and carnage that went with it. And at the minimum, as part of that healing, part of that reconnection, should involve first returning these works to where they belong, at least um, some of them. But more importantly, um, whether they are all returned or not, what is most important is the ownership, that these works don't belong to the people who are currently holding them that these works belong to Edo people and since Edo is now part of Nigeria, these works should come back to Nigeria. Um, the Germans were the first to accept the argument, to buy into uh, this line of thought and you know for them because of they have a conscience and they are dealing with the issues of colonialism and the way they treated their, some, 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 uh, some of their colonies and that has packed public debates in Germany. After all the analyses, the questions some rational Benin men and women are asking are as follows. One, who is Governor Obasiki working for, is it the Benin people or his personal interest? 
Why does Oba Siki derive pleasure in disrespecting the Oba of Benin? When you disrespect the Benin monarch you disrespect the Benin people as well. 2. Why did Oba Siki say the artifacts belong to Edo people when he was addressing the German government delegates? We all know that the artifacts do not belong to Edo people but the Oba of Benin because his ancestors instructed, coordinated and provided the resources for the production of these artifacts. 3. Why is Governor Obasiki insisting on building Emowo Museum disregarding Benin Royal Museum which he agreed initially, when he was newly elected as Governor of Edo State? 4. Historically, why is Obasiki family always want to disagree with our revered monarch on issues concerning Benin people? In 1897 the progenitor of Obasiki family Ago Obasiki betrayed Oba Ovan Ramwan and colluded with the invaders the British army to destroy Benin City. Subsequently, he had issues with Oba Ovan Ramwan's successor Oba El Welka. 5. Why is Obasiki always have issues with the Benin people and their monarch? Former Governor Asho Morla never had issues with Oba of Benin or Benin people. 6. Why is Governor Obasiki refusing to key into Benin Royal Museum project rather he is insisting on building Emawa Museum which most Benin do not support? 7. Where will Governor Obasiki get the artifacts to put in Emowa Museum? We know the artifacts that are coming from Germany belong to the Oba of Benin and they will be displayed in Benin Royal Museum. In conclusion, Governor Obasiki's behavior is governed by hidden motives and unconscious desires that nobody can figure out. Please watch this video as Mr. Izadawa critically analyses Obasiki's video and explains why Governor Obasiki deliberately avoided mentioning Oba of Benin or Oba Palace in relation to Benin artifacts. I want us to, I want to play a video because I don't want people to say I'm reading meanings to where meanings are not. I want us to listen attentively because i pay attention to details i want us to listen very attentively i want us to hear from the office's mouth so i want us to hear listen attentively i want to hear i just want you people to i want you people to understand some certain things that you didn't understand while you were listening to these videos and you were clapping I just want to open your mind. I want you to open your mind and listen. M or tie, if not tie. I just want you to listen attentively to what he has to say. And how Edo people could benefit from their tongue. This conversation has been on for almost uh, a year and a half. Um, the conversation, in fact, two years. The conversation about restitution and the returns of these works. Um, I am very excited and very glad because it's, uh, people may not understand the implication and impact and importance of what we're doing now. Years to come, they will, hopefully, those people and Nigerians will come to appreciate that we took the right decision. Uh, first, to put pressure on those who are currently holding uh, priced pieces of artifacts that these works actually belong to us, that these works... First, the works, the artifacts, do not belong to us. It belongs to the other of Benin. First, I want you people to see the mind game that he's playing with you people. He's making you to believe that if he not do view, 
Ogi Maya no. So we all have the same equal rights to Imina Duvio. It's a mind game. It's a mind game. He's smart. He's a strategist. I keep telling you people, it's a mind game. The artifact does not belong to us. I keep saying it. Does not belong to a dope people. It belongs to the Obar of Benin. Precision. It has to be precise. Ownership. 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 It's not us. The artifact does not belong to a dope people. It belongs to the Obar of Benin. Precision. He's playing with you people. He's 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 he probably did psychology. He's playing with your mind. He, 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 if he gives the ownership to you, to everybody, it gives him a legitimate right to not be the custodian. That is what he's playing. Do not fall for that. The artifact do not belong to us. Do not belong to Edo people. It belongs to the other beneath. We have to put these things in right perspective. None of these artifacts were taken from any other places except the palace of the Obar of Benin. And the people who created this artifact were created by the Obar of Benin. Obaisige was a bronze caster. Obaisige. Us Obwasi Seomo. Was a bronze caster. What belongs to one person, he's trying to not get make us feel that Mayanya. So the ownership in all of these things, all of the videos he has been doing in the past few days. Have you have you seen or heard him mention Oba Benin? Have you heard him mention the palace of the Oba Benin? No. He's doing it intentional. He's making the world feel that this thing does not belong to one person. It belongs to everybody. He's trying to take the relevance from the other of Benin so that we all can feel that Marco Konya, Wanya, Era Seo Oropa, Abi USL. My father never owned any artifact. Neither my mother. So how would I not claim that the artifact belongs to me? Yes, if it belongs to the other, it belongs to everybody. But the ownership has to be very precise. Do not fall for his mind games. He's manipulating us. That is what is good at. He's manipulating us. That is what is good at. What done y'all? I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. taken away from this city. And there was a lot of destruction. You say, forcibly taken from the city. Where? Ask him. He said, forcibly taken from the city. He said it. Where in the city that this artifact were taken? Ask him. Were any of the art artifact taken from Obaseki's compound, our Obaseki's compound? Ask him. These artifacts were not taken from the, from the streets, from the city of Benin. They were taken from the palace. There are photographs that shows where all those Benin artifacts. Where was that picture taken? Was he on the streets of Benin? No, it was taken inside the palace. Because that's where that is where the treasure was stolen from. None was taken from streets of Benin. They were all taken from the palace of the Obar of Benin. He's telling you it was taken from the city. Do you he's smart? He knows how to use words. He knows why he's saying what he's saying.
he said he said what is most important he said whether they are returned or not on the mark that is what he said whether they are returned or not he said that is not important he said what is important is who own it and when he now said who own it he now said a do people Listen to what he said again. First, returning these works to where they belong, at least um, some of them. But more importantly, um, whether they are all returned or not, what is most important is the ownership that these works can belong to the people who are currently holding them, that these works belong to other people, and that since a dog is not part of Nigeria, these works should come back. Um, the Germans were the first to accept the argument to buy into you know, this line of thought. And, you know, for them, because of, they have a conscience and they are dealing with the issues of colonialism and the way they treated the, uh, the colonies. And that has packed public debates in Germany and you know, ethical and moral debates. We we're glad that we were able to extend that debate to the issue of restitution and return to work. So, uh, there's quite a lot of German support from the, you know, not just the central government, the federal government of Germany, but also some of the regional governments who were keeping some of these works in their interiors. For us, as a state, we are glad that we've been able to serve as a catalyst to make this happen. Um, before I came into office, about 12 or so years before I came into office, Conversations have been on, discussions have been on, but we realized that it was not going to go anywhere except the Edo State Government stepped in, and it was the intervention of the Edo State Government that facilitated the results of his works and his What he said just now, what he said just now is that eh, we, they have been clamoring for the return of Benin artifact. He did agree. Of it, but it was not going anywhere. So that means he's saying that all the clamoring that Obakenzo had the second clamored for was nonsense. It didn't go anywhere. All the clamoring that Obari, our blessed memory, clamored for, most especially during the Benin Centenary in 1997, was nonsense. It had no water. It was holding no way. All the clamoring that or by why even when he was a daiken clamoring for for the return of these artifacts they were nonsense till he came on board that is insulting not just the present monarch but the past two monarchs and the effort of you and i who have also been fighting for the return of this artifact or even mark be nice since nonsense in all that it has no headway until he came on board and dead back no hearing yes he ain't ready conversations around the return so for us we just said as a catalyst how are we going to benefit from it like you heard from me from the presentation it's not the works in themselves it is the whole ecosystem that we will be creating first. There's so much we don't know because of that disconnection of what happened, how we used to live, how we used to deal with our environment. We need knowledge, we need research. And these pieces coming back serve as a point, a contact point, to begin work, research work, as to who we are as a people. And we don't, never again are we going to sit and allow outsiders to tell us about our history. To now, he said, never again would we allow outsiders to tell our history. The Emowa project, who are the people in charge of it? 
I don't know outsiders. We were doing this, you know, we were doing more project. Even the girl who spoke, who spoke, I will, I will, I will take it back. Is she an adult person? The girl who did the presentation of the Emowa project, is she an adult person? The girl who spoke, most of the people, the chairman or so, Obi Bueno, any outsider, any outsiders. The area those ones as Walile, who are who are who are now a chairman of the Emowa committee. Or oh, the Moa Trust Fund. Wow, 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 Then he's giving the juicy to outsiders. And now he's complaining that never again will we allow foreigners and outsiders tell our story while all the juicy positions in a dosage is being given to the same outsiders. You explain to us who we are and what our objective means to us. So by bringing them in and having this sort of facility, will the research that we and local funding will be now locally contextualized so as to make meaning. Secondly, it will serve as a stimulation because Edo people are still very creative. So the same people who created these world-class places 500 years ago is the same blood that flows in their veins today. Many of them are expressing themselves in different platforms. Now, all of the words he has mentioned since, have you ever said he mentioned the Obarvini or the palace. He said the people who made those beautiful artifacts, they are still there. The people he has never supported with one millionaire or 500,000. For almost six years, he has been the governor. We don't have any issues. Anybody should not say I'm against Emowa. We have said it countless times. Nobody is against Emowa. If he wants to build it, he should go ahead. He has every power to build whatever he wants to build. In short, we don't have any power to stop him from building whatever he wants to build. But the bone of contention has always been the stolen artifact. You don't have right to words or ownership claim over those stolen artifacts. You can go and meet Igun people, but you should also know that Igun people will have to take permission first from the Obar of Benin because these guild were created long before colonial times. No government created Igun, it was the Obar of Benin that created Igun, and they are only answerable. I mean, again, and just like they are also only in answer, the governor has the answer, the governor has to suspend the answer. But why that any of you have a now like I like I'm saying like like I'm saying if you want to go and meet they also have to take permission from the other opinion so that they can give you artworks since they are still in the business of being very creative go and do your own artifact for crying out loud the Igbo people said uh, Iboku they also have where they do their own artifact the Yoruba said they have their own artifact. You can go to Yoruba, go to Lagos, go to Street of Lagos, go to Ife. Yeah, you mean some artworks. You have Yori. Do you have a more wawe? Arigun. Oba akpa say you have a Yori. Do you have a more No, I have a more But the one stolen, I want you to show me a more Moreover, if you have a more wawe, have you sat down with a do people? The Edo people now. Have you had a conference meeting with the Edo people? Now you have been speaking we 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 who are the we. If you now say Edo people, yeah, how many conferences have you had with Edo people? I'm also a stakeholder. I've not received any letter from you, and I and I had a conference of one of discussing in our what if at here. So are you not the only Edo man? My Edo, or you feel that okay. We are not qualified enough to be there. But how many of these hierarchy people who really not Noriko Deneo, you not sat them down and you not discuss on what to do with the artifact? 
How many times have you discussed this matter of Atifa with your barrow? The other time, who is you, Bobo? But I told everybody, I must show Bobo or take a break and re strategize. But there is nothing institutionalized, there's no infrastructure to support that. So, a facility like this will be vast in infrastructure, which will be second to none on the continent to support our budding artists. In the traditional arts, in the music, in the entertainment, so what we've done with the Victor Wife will come into power. So it's about enacting that creative cultural instincts that is in our DNA. What's up, the visit of the German minister? By a few days from now, Tijani NCMM, I be me, I say, what's the phone of that NCM uh, National Curators of a uh, Museum, whatever, wherever? Yate Professor Tijani and Lai Mohammed in next few days Yawa Yo Bogya Yaga O Boga Dabi guys in the next few days will be ma all the bribe in here we are aware of them. But my only a maoni nay guankani in the next few days are guankani tijani we lie mohammed ego ni aye he get do ni aye so that he can support. As I just did, Tijani was invited by National Assembly, um, by the lower house, House of um, Rep. Thank God, Owima, Samyo, no Gyoni Wey and Nigbe, Ogbede Hama, who is the head of that committee. So, so that Tijani cannot tell us. I invited Tijani at the King's Court so that he can tell us the role he is playing on how to to relute our looted artifact. You have a lie, Mohammed. And he won't hear it busy. So, every fact are there. Every fact are there. So please and please, it only need Tyson Wasona. It only need Tyson. Other further informations as they unfold, I will let you all people know.